Mahomes, keep Kyler Murray if you're the Arizona Cardinals. Okay, I, I like that. I actually want to sort of live in this one for a minute here. And Kmart, let me come to you because no one does relationship analogies quite like Kimberly Martin does. So help me with this. <laughs> what is the stage of a relationship where we're still together, but you have scrubbed me off of all of your social media. You have yes. removed any reference yes. to me that exists. See that picture of him in a Cardinals? There's none of that none on of his that social exists. media. <laughs> on his social media, you would think he played none football at Oklahoma and now <laughs> plays for the Oakland A's. That's what you would think if right. you just looked at his social media. I'm not exaggerating. That's what he did. So he can say, I'm not here for the nonsense. But candidly, that's the nonsense. Mm -hmm. So what stage of a relationship are we in if you've done that? No, this is this is headed into a bad situation. But here's what what bugs me about the Cardinals, right? It's almost like picture it. You're a guy. You walk into a bar. You see this really hot girl across the room, right? And she's decked out. She's got a pretty dress on. She's got red bottom. She's got the Balenciaga. She's got the Birkin bag. She's her hair's did, nails done. And then you end up picking her up. You start dating her. And then a couple months later, you're like. Why is she so high maintenance? <laughs> well, uh, you found her at the club dressed up to the nines. Like, this is what I, I don't understand. We've had, conversa we've had conversations about Kyler Murray and the leadership and how he acts. And, like, this is not new stuff. And so the Cardinals, all of a sudden, they didn't, none of this came out when they were winning seven games in a row. Now, all of a sudden, he seems unhappy and we're getting information about how he's a bad leader. It just seems a little fishy. I love the analysis. It took me a second to understand yeah. where we were headed, but I liked it. <laughs> yeah, it was well worth it. <laughs> so, Hank, let me ask you a question on that. Yes. Because what, what I find most interesting in this is that from the time Chris Mortensen's reporting over the weekend came out that there are people who suggest that he's a finger pointer mm -hmm. and immature and all that, no one has disputed it. Like, he came out and released a statement, but we haven't heard from the Cardinals, you know, no, no, he's our guy, we love him and all that. So, right. if indeed we do assume that people have seen, like, the body language and stuff like that yes. on the field when things are not going well, mm. if that's your quarterback, who has to be your leader to at least some degree, mm -hmm. how does that impact the team and how do they overcome that problem? Uh, well, you, you have to have some veteran leadership and, and look, look it, when you have a quarterback, they are usually the guys, right? right. So. It doesn't matter if they're young, if they're older. They are the guys that are supposed to be the leaders of the offense. Defensively, there's some limitations to what you can do as, as a leader on the whole mm -hmm. team. You really need a quarterback, but your head coach really needs to kind of control that situation. And the head coach there kind of seems like one of them dudes, right? Let's, <laughs> let's hang. Bros. Let's bro, bro, let's hang. Like, come to the crib. <laughs> you know, we're going to do this draft. Come sit with me by the fireplace and have, we'll have a nice cocktail. Like, let's hang, bro. Like, Not even a beer, it, a cocktail. It, it, it okay. just seems, you know, that, that if you have a, a young quarterback that these rumors, I don't know if they're accurate, but if, if your head coach can't get that under control, then that's the issue. You have to have leadership from the head coaching level mm -hmm. down to the offensive level, level, especially your quarterback. Yeah. So, so Mike T, what do we think of that? If when you said recruit your own, you're talking about the Cardinals as though they need to make sure that he's happy. Is, is that the way you're viewing that? And how do they go about doing that? Yeah, I would start with that, just saying, hey, you're the centerpiece of this organization. We're going to build around you. But the other question I would ask him, Greeny, is this. Kyler, what do you think you need to do to improve your leadership skills? And I think the insight to that answer would tell us a lot as an organization. Hmm. So what does he need to do? So this is a Kyler problem, or is it – if he's unhappy, this I guess is, what I'm trying no, to get no, to the bottom of is, he's taken them off his social media, and we're yes. figuring out what they need to do to make him happy. Yes, because this is Olivia Pope-type scandal stuff from the standpoint of crisis management 101. You need to figure it out because, as we've talked about, if you don't have a good quarterback, you have no shot. They have one of the best quarterbacks in the game. They drafted him one overall. That's on them. To be clear, that's his avatar now. <laughs> like, that's, that's his avatar. They got to make it work, Greeny. It, it's they him at Oklahoma where he won the Heisman and the him playing a sport that doesn't at this moment even exist in, in baseball. <laughs> and, and it, it's not, it doesn't even what, acknowledge his career in Arizona. This. What if he thinks that, that he never is the problem? What if he's like, no, it's not me, it's everybody else? What it, if that's his makeup? Then they do have a problem. But, but questions about his, his temperament – 
didn't just arrive. Right. You know, he's been in the league several years. Like, this is not a new thing, which is why I'm concerned. I'm confused as to why we're Well, to your like point, th this didn't seem to be a problem when they were winning a bunch of games. As they always say, winning is the best deodorant, if you will, and that maybe that's just what they need more than anything else. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.